Clifton Beach, home to the most expensive real estate in South Africa. At the foot of Lion's Head at 145 Kloof Road is a new 38 million rand private residence that is a showcase project for JG Africa's civil and structural engineering skills and capabilities. Started in 2014, the six-story residence demanded unique design and intricate construction processes to overcome the challenges posed by its construction on a steep mountain slope in close proximity to existing properties and on difficult site geology. A 5,000 cubic meter excavation comprising three terrace levels with earth faces of 14, 5 and 8 meters respectively from road level to the back of the site. Throughout the process, it was imperative to maintain slope stability as risk to human safety and the possibility of damage to surrounding properties was extremely high. Conventional anchored wall stabilization methods were not possible, however, due to boundary restrictions and the close proximity of neighboring high-value properties. Working closely with geotechnical subcontractor Frankie Africa, JG Africa designed an alternative which eliminated the need for conventional ground stabilization systems in restricted areas during construction. Construction of the structure was divided into four phases. First, a working platform was created at the second terrace level where a 13 meter high slope was excavated at 60 degrees and then temporarily stabilized using soil anchors covered with mesh and sprayed with garnite. Then, drilling rigs were lifted onto the platform 14 meters above road level to insert the 300 millimeter diameter rotary percussion soldier piles and tension ground anchors at 10 degrees to the vertical to provide stability for the temporary side walls of the system. Within the platform area, 25 meter long piles with ground anchors were socketed into hard rock to a depth of at least two meters. The combination of the two provided resistance to both the local earth face sliding forces and to global slip circle forces within the slope. A 500 mm thick foundation slab was then constructed and using a compact excavator, the excavation through the rear garnited base followed in controlled 3 meter widths in order to mitigate the chance of slope failure. A conventional reinforced concrete retaining wall was then built sequentially within the 3 meter widths to the required 5 meter height. Above this, the temporary garnite remained. Construction of the basement at the lower terrace level followed. Approximately 20 tons of temporary structural steel shoring were installed to support the 14 meter high side walls of the excavation. The steel members, spanning 22 meters, were fabricated in sections and assembled on site by contracting teams. When the excavation was complete and construction of the concrete structure was implemented, the steel propping was sequentially removed once the concrete slabs had sufficiently cured to enable them to accept the transfer of horizontal forces. The fact that minimal ground movements were detected during the entire two-year build is proof of a very successful, innovative and technical solution to the challenges set before the design and construction team.